Dala! Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well, that your week is going well. Today I have another story time, which is going to be much lighter, much funnier, much, uh, much brighter than the last one. So in this uh, uh, episode of story time, I wanted to share with you uh, my first experience dreaming with someone else. As you've seen in the title, um, I love dream work. Dream work has been something I've done, inclined to since I was a child. And um, I've done it by myself. I've been shown different things. I've seen my ancestors in the dream world. Um, I've heard many things. I've been shown different places. I've done a lot of healing work also in the dream realm. And um, that enabled me and helped me to kind of figure out how to integrate that in my own um, awakened life uh, with the advice of my grandmother also who always taught integration that the dream world is not something you use to escape uh, the information you get there is information that also supposed to serve you in your awakened time uh, and vice versa some of the information that you get here is also for you to use and when you're dreaming um, so in this particular episode um, uh, I wanted to share with you one of the experiences that I had with dreaming with someone else. I know that some people are uh, really eager to uh, know about uh, that and how we can dream together. I think it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful tool you can use to increase your intimacy if you have a partner, a, f a close friend, somebody you, which you have uh, some energetical con connection. Um, for me, it was uh, my boyfriend at the time when we were in college. Uh, we met in college and. Um, at the beginning, I had no idea what was uh, what was going on when you dream with someone else, uh, and so I, I'll tell you what happened. So basically, we were going out by that time. I was in college at that time, and we just happened to, you know, uh, he sleep over, I sleep over there, and um, <clears throat> and mind you, this is a person where I've been. We've been together for over, over ten years, uh, about average ten years. So it's somebody we've had already built. A kind of energical uh, um, relationship we are uh, vibrating at the same level if you like and we are very much in love I mean we were like what I was what uh, 20 he was 21 at the time so it just started like anyone else you know it was a regular you know relationship and then um, I think it was one day he he came by and he was like oh you know I dreamed about you last night and you know, I know, I know, everyone is going to say, of course, guys say that all the time. <laughs> guys will say that all the time. Oh, yeah, they dream about me. Yeah, 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 let me guess what the dream was, you know. And, you know, some connotations into, you know, maybe romantic kind of dreams and stuff like that. So when he first told me that, I didn't really pay um, any mind or give any attention because I didn't really think much of it. And mind you, at that time also, even though I was already, I've done already a lot of uh, having dreams, but it was dreams about myself. I had never experienced having dreams with someone else or going to someone else's dream or going to meet somebody else in the dream realm um, or consciously. Uh, I've had people coming into my dream, like my grandmother, my, my uh, ancestors and stuff like that, and seeing them in my dreams with no problems because, you know, I kind of identify this, uh, this, this different people. But I've never I had never experienced going to someone else's dream or meeting so with somebody. So when he told me about his dream, he dreamed about me in a particular situation, I'm not going to disclose that here. Um, he just jogged my memory and I, as he was talking, to me he felt like a memory. He didn't fe feel like a dream. He felt like a memory, something like I've actually lived and gone through. Um, so when he told me about the dream, I started thinking, wait a minute. Was that was was that a dream or did we actually do that together? Um, and he was like, no, 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 it was in my dream. So let me tell you this. And I remember as he was telling me, I remember seeing all of the things that he was telling me at the time. Um, but then I was just quiet because you know what? He, he wasn't someone who was like he was a uh, he's like religious even though he didn't practice. He was a Christian. So uh, at that time I didn't think much and we just left it like that. And then uh, we, I've moved to D.C. to go to law school, and he was in, back in New York. And then so I remember one day I was just in my bed. It was like it was like one of the weekends. He used to come over every other weekend and something like that. Um, so that was a weekend where he wasn't there. So I was just like, oh, you know, I just got off the phone with him, and he was about to go to bed, and me too. And I was just saying, you know, long-distance long relationship sucks, blah, 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 blah. You know, I was, about, I was about 22 or 23 at the time, so, you know, really young. And so I decided to go to sleep, and um, in my dream, I just imagined, I just saw myself going there to see him. 
uh, going to his place, like opening the door, being there and all that stuff. And he was there sleeping. I just remember going there and snugging next to him and being on the covers and having him hold me all night. And um, I just remembered in the, at the end of the dream, just me telling him oh goodbye and kissing him goodbye and then waking up in my bed. And wondering like what what's what's happening <laughs> you know when you wake up and you're just like oh no it was a dream it was a dream so that's kind of when i wake up and i was like man it was so real i just thought i was there what how was happening so i got back to my senses and i just realized okay this is really um that was just a dream um and then he calls me <laughs> so when he calls me he, he tells me oh you know how are you blah 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 he's like, and then he's like oh you know what i dream about you last night and I said, okay, what did you dream about? And basically he said he dreamed about me coming to his room and coming to sleep with me even though, to sleep in his bed even though we were like miles apart and then we, we just cuddled and slept all night. And in the morning I left and he decided to call me. So basically he, t he was telling me the dream that I actually had. So that's when it st in my head it started clicking and, so, and I started realizing, oh my gosh, we are actually dreaming together. <laughs> Um, and I have to tell you, from that moment on, like, long distance wasn't, like, an issue for me. I just, I was just like, oh, man, I, I want to go and see him. I'll just go in and, 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 and see him there. Um, but it, I have to say that it wasn't something that I shared with him at that time because he is, he was a Christian. And, you know, and he wasn't, I don't think he believed too much. We had discussion about these kind of things, but he didn't believe that too much. You know, Africans are much more, like distancing themselves from these kind of things um but to me it was one of the great greatest tool and that just that first time of like energetically being there on the same vibration same level and being able to in my dreams to go and cuddle and actually physically feel his energy and his senses right next to me um i think it was amazing it was just like i, I that opened my mind to all of the other possibilities of dream work uh, and dream work with a group of people and with people. Um, and that was really the first experience that, uh, that brought this to my consciousness and saying, you know, why would you ever feel alone? Why would you ever feel like someone abandoned you or that you cannot um, tap into uh, the love and the relationship and the care that you have for somebody when you can actually access that through the dream world um, and through dream work. Um, and the feeling, I have to say, the feeling I had when I was cuddling with him in my dream was the exact same feeling that I had when we were cuddling physically, just to tell you how intense it was. Um, and definitely that's something that still kind of bond because we were, that was back we were, I think, two or three years into the relationship. And like I said, it's a relationship that lasted 10 years. And even still today, uh, I consider him to be one of the people I've always loved. Um, that energetical bond is, is, is always, is is there and it will always be there um, and like I say it's just a matter of like viewing uh, the experiences that you have um, and seeing like the greatness of it um, how that kind of ex experience can really propel you to not only discover yourself and what your, your abilities are but also feel how much connected you are with somebody how much on the same level on the same vibration you are um, no matter what you have to learn with this person, no matter how long you're going to be together, um, that is already a gift, a wonderful gift that this person can bring to you to give you that ability to uh, realize what you can do with yourself, to realize uh, how connected you can be with the world. You know, you, it, it begins with one person, but then you realize you can actually do this with anyone. Um, well, there's a, there are caveats. <laughs> Um, but you, you can explore that and know that you should never feel alone. You should never even feel like um, like uh, uh, distance is an issue. And I know most, most wi women don't really see distance as an issue to begin with. It's more, uh, from my perspective, it's more of a, for a primarily man issue. Um, because, you know, most women... Um, we tap into our intuition. We are able sometimes to sense when a man is faithful to us, when a man is, is uh, sending us love uh, continuously. Um, and um, so when we get that energy, we kind of recognize, recognize that level. Uh, and to me, it was kind of like being able to, to, to bridge that sense of uh, connection with somebody. Um, and I think, you know, I've done some, uh, some uh, consultation and... Um, 
I think it's so it's sometimes it's such a pity when you have people who are uh, in a relationship for such a long time but they never experience having a dream together connecting on that spiritual level um, you know a lot of people will say you know when you are um, uh, intimate with somebody you the two of you become one but tangibly when you ask them what does it mean nobody really actually know what it means nobody actually can t give you tangibly what it means or explain to you what it means to just become one um, physically spiritually in the old sense of it but to me that part of dream work is such an expressive way to know exactly how it feels like to feel connected to somebody not only in the physical plane where you can you know, show love to each other physically and to the other world but in the spirit world when you meet each other in the darkness when you are connecting miles apart miles or miles away uh, able from the the, the, the the ability of your spirit to just connect with that other spirit and that's when I think the intimacy that can come out of that is just such a wonderful gift and a wonderful tool and I think if more people were inclined to have those kind of experiences we will live in such a much so wonderful world um, but for 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 uh, for that to happen, some of them from some of them it really comes really easily. Others is things that you have to practice in order to get there. But I think I do believe that it is something that anyone can can do. Um, and um, I hope that for but for me sharing this story, uh, it will encourage encourage you to just uh, you know start thinking about the possibilities. Uh, maybe exploring that with your partner as well. Um, you know, um, there are a few bits and pieces and I can share that with you or you can book a consultation with me and we can talk about that, especially if you already started having different experiences um, uh, in the dream world. But I just thought it would be something for you guys to uh, take in consideration and to learn about if you've never heard this before um, and to not that not to view it as something that I'm special or anything like that, but to view it as this is one of the things people can, can do. Um, I know a lot of time, a lot of the video on astral production and, and all that involve you going and exploring other places and everything like that, but a very little amount of video talk about how you can go and explore your own self, your own abilities, um, explore your own vocation and what you can do in the real, re, re, in the dream realm to assert them in your real life. And as I, as I just shared in this video, how you can uh, connect with other people and build your relationship and build your understanding and build relationships that are going to life that are going to last um, uh, until infinity because I think that energy recognize that energy and I think we we uh, him and I had a, always um, been in a in a somewhat of a relationship with a friendship before uh, even the same family members before in past lives and I can totally totally connect and respond to that energy um, so yeah, that was my little story time uh, about DreamWork. Now you know how I even love DreamWork so much. And uh, as we go, I'll share a lot more with you um, to help you on your own journey if this is something that you would like to explore as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.